What's up everybody, my name is Slanted, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be reviewing the first episode of Infinity Train Book 3, as that was released earlier today. So, if you are a fan of Infinity Train, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and be sure for more content like this and more Infinity Train content in the future, and I would love to review every episode of Book 3 when they are released. Other than that, I just want to say hope you enjoy the video, and let's get right into it. So the first thing we got for book three was this amazing art for the just the cover art for book three. From then on out, we didn't really get much except eventually a teaser trailer that I kind of already did a review on. Other than that, we also got a sort of like a teaser for the first episode, a good clip, almost like a trailer almost, sort of like a trailer. So we also got that. But other than that, until now, until three days ago, Cartoon Network posted a little something on their Instagram. <laughs> now during that video, you may have noticed a little something being this. It kept glitching and saying, one day. Now with this one day, they're obviously hinting towards, well, one day it's going to be like that, and then, oh, something's going to happen when it's one day or something. As this continued on Cartoon Network's Instagram going from two days, and then one day, and still doing the one day glitch thing even on that and even with the season 3 premiere date being on August 13th at 7.45pm later this night for EST in my time, they still decided to post the first episode early with this story on their Instagram saying scroll up and you can watch it for free on HBO Max, completely free, you don't even have to pay for it. Now, this episode was actually released around 9 hours ago, and I had no clue until around an hour ago, so I'm a little late, and I could have made this video a lot earlier, but it's fine. Anyway, let's dive in to talk about what Book 3 is, and who the characters are, and the main characters in the cast. The first episode starts out with Grace and Simon, and the kids of the Apex, on a certain episode called The Musical Car. The description of the episode goes like this. The kids at the Apex raid a musical car before descending on a village of unexpected turtles. Before they can complete their mission, leaders Grace and Simon are separated from the pack under mysterious circumstances. Now, as Grace and Simon have been in the previous books, they have been some quite, quite the rascals. They aren't very good or nice people, and they lead this thing called the Apex. These two goals on the train, on the infinity train, is to have the highest amount of numbers and just the highest just the highest number count on their wrist. One of the description goes as this. The Apex is a band of delinquent raiders led by Grace and Simon. They are passengers of the infinity train that believe the train belongs to them and as such can do whatever they want. Their debut episode was on Book 2, Episode 6 on an episode called The Cap Car that took place at this carnival place. As book two went on, we continued to see Grace and Simon in the Apex, as we saw them in the last episode as well. Other than that, we didn't hear anything more about them or have any clue that they were going to be the main characters, but we really needed some more info on these guys, so I guess that's fitting. Other than all that, since the first episode is out now, I figured I'd make a review. So let's actually review the first episode now. It starts out with us immediately seeing the kids of the Apex and the Apex, but then this weird musical number starts playing. I see me, and when I look at me, I see you. It may sound kind of funny at first, but you'll see. If you give it a try, you'll like it too. I'm from the West, and you're from the East. This musical number basically just continues on and on and on and on and on and on and on for a good minute until this one kind of important scene comes up. We see all the kids looking at Grace and Simon like they're their idols as they come down closer with the stares on their face. You know, all the kids are just looking and being inspired by them, smiling, just happy. You know, it's like they're happy to actually be with them and be there. They're all just like 
And it just shows that they're like the leaders of this place, of the Apex, and they send them off. As the music number still continues, it stops at this little sign for a good couple seconds. On the sign, it says, Enemy Codes or Codes, Jesse Kase. Jesse Kase is one of the main characters from Book 2. As we then see some of the creations of the train in this musical car all singing with the Apex, the Apex swaps down after singing and seeing them, and just, and just tells all of the, the kids in the Apex to attack them and destroy everything, take everything. And all the kids start beating up them and destroying the entire cart. He's just stomping on it. You know, they're all just getting destroyed and everything's getting ripped up. And then this scene in particular where Simon just comes behind the lights because uh, they're obviously living and he just bats them. And she's just dancing and kicking them, having fun. As the place is now burning up, we see one of these light guys on the ground dying and begging for help. And then one of the girls just takes them. And then everything just falls over and shit starts burning and they're all celebrating. And then they decide, all right, it's, it's time to head out. We then see this cool scene. Apex! Take a bow! It's not very up close, but we get to see all of the Apex kids in a hole. They just leave this car on fire, this cart on fire. This is completely destroyed, and only a few of these guys are still alive. And, and it just goes out. As we see these kids getting in line, just to show these creations to Simon and Grace, they're just trying to be nice to them and, you know, just show them what, that what they made is pretty cool. And, you know, she's just trying to be a nice person. As the list continues, we meet this other kid who shows something that is just broken glass. And she's like, eh. And she just tells him it's good anyway. And she's going to put it in a personal sash. And it cheers him up. And she gives him a nice pat on the head. As he runs off, one more person decides to come up. This is the girl that grabbed that light bulb thing earlier. As he's basically dying and suffering for help, she's holding him. As Grace basically just ignores her and ignores this all, she she just decides, and eh, whatever. And then just decides, wheel it and walk away. Then this happens. So I can keep the light person? No, no way! Aw, that's cute. Lucy thinks it's a person. Simon, do you see a person? Mm -mm. All I see is another toy the train made to amuse us. See, Lucy? It's nothing. Just something to play with when we're bored. And honestly, <laughs> you're boring me. They just tell her something that she wants to keep and says it's like her friend and it's a person. They just say it's not a person, it's just a toy, it doesn't matter. Now they have taken it too far and really upset her. Even though Grace wanted it out, Simon said he wants the keyboard anyway for himself. What? I'm building a diorama for my soldiers. I need a big light to emulate dawn before the Battle of Esmeroth. Here Simon mentions that he's making a little creation that goes by the name of the Battle of Esmeroth. Mm. Is that a real battle? It is in my fantasy novel. Which you promised you'd read? I'm still on the foreword. You wrote the foreword. I know, isn't it great? No, they are writing this thing and creating this thing. And you really don't know what you're writing if it could become reality. So that's kind of scary. As they hype up the kids in the Apex, they decide they want to raid another car. Let's raid another car. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Who wants to raid one more car? One more car. One more car. One more car. No sign of any passengers in the next car. Should be easy. One more car. One more car. Now, the, the car that is next that they end up raiding is the Unfinished Car. This car first appeared in Book 1. So now we're seeing it again in Book 3. Even though this car is really shit and not even finished, these kids still attack it and try to raid it. As the cart gets destroyed, the turtles and the residents is just, they all are just being attacked and being scared. And Simon comes in and he just, he just starts beating him up for no reason. You know, and steals his chef hat. What an ass. As the bodyguards then appear to take on the leaders of the Apex, Grace. Grace, we then learn she can do some weird-ass parkour shit. She defeats these guys, and the other turtle just chases after Simon. He does some weird parkour shit, too. And just dropkicks this dude. What the fuck? 
his numbers just start going up because he thinks that's what he's supposed to do. It's really not. As the world begins to shake, they then realize what this car is. Just like how Tulip found out in book one. As Simon gets thrown to the ground, a freaking brick wall lands on him. And then the train starts to move. The car just starts to move. And it zooms. And everything begins to fly super fast. First move. And then, since the car started to move, even though it's not supposed to because people are inside, they assume it's the conductor. One one himself. So thank God they're already mentioning him. You think he was attacking us? I wouldn't put it past him. Good news, they're here. Bad news, we're here, forty-seven cars away. Hey, that's not all bad. It'll be like old times, just me and you. <sighs> yeah, old times. And this was the start of book three. You know, forty-seven carts to go. Till they reach back to the apex. So now Simon and Grace's journey of book three is going to begin. As they open the cart door, we then see the jungle car. The jungle car is the car that's literally in the book one cover art. As Grace and Simon just walk in like it's nothing into the jungle car. And the door closes, this signifies the end of episode one. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. That was the review for Season 3, Book 3, Episode 1, Part 1 of Infinity Train. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe and join the Discord. It's down below. I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is. My name's Lancet, and peace out.